Do you believe in ghosts? Don't be so quick to say no. Lots of people swear that they have been haunted by visiting spirits. Even Strathroy, Ontario isn't exempt from spying chilling experiences. Ghosts love to frolic in old abandoned houses such as this one. Teens who have chosen to party here at nights swear that they have seen ghostly shadows. Some say that they have even heard a child's voice weeping from the basement where old roller skates and toys still remain. Those who have entered this house have been a part of an experience that has changed their lives to this very day. When I was there a month ago, I got the shivers and, and it was creepy in there. And all webs in there. We heard creepy sounds and that coming from uh, as we went through it just to check it out. It was like, it was scary. Excuse me, sir. Hi. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, there's rumors going around that uh, there's a haunted house in town and it's located by the railroad bridge. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. A and any... No, no, that's all. I want to say... Uh, Are you sure? No, get away. Oh. The experience has been so terrifying that some people have become deeply withdrawn. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I'm never going back to that place again. Museums are also a common place for hauntings. The spirits are believed to be drawn to their belongings that are on display within. The Strathroy Museum has also had numerous unexplained accounts of apparitions and poltergeist activity. This building was constructed in 1872, so that makes it over 125 years old now. And who lived here first? It was constructed by the Murray family as their home, Mr. and Mrs. Murray. So there's rumors going around in Strathroy that this place is possibly haunted. Is that true? We don't really like to talk about that too much. Oh dear, well... Sometimes I hear noises upstairs. Well, it's really hard to tell. They're not very loud, you know. But it sounds like things are, are rolling around on the floors. I don't know. And you know, sometimes I go in the bedroom and I swear somebody's been there just before I was in there. It just feels like somebody's in there. I've never seen anything. It's just so slight. You know, I just have the sense maybe the rocking chair is not quite still enough. You know, there was one time we were in the basement doing some work and Fran and I, we were both down there. We both heard, we could have sworn someone was playing the piano up here. And we came up and there was nobody here. I don't like to be here at night and sometimes, especially in the winter, it is getting dark when I'm leaving. And uh, I, I, I leave in quite a hurry. I don't like to be closing up at night. It just feels like there's someone up at the top of the stairs looking down. And you know, sometimes I think I hear steps on the stairs, but when I go out, I, I've never seen anything, but sometimes I think there's someone going up the stairs. It sounds like footsteps on the stairs. I noticed the toy room. It looks pretty eerie in there. Definitely those dolls look like they actually have souls to them. How old would the dolls be? 
Oh, some of those dolls are at least a hundred years old, I would think. Um, you know, I go in that room and it just feels like someone is watching me. Well, there was a visitor here one day, a lady from Godrich, and she said she felt that feeling in, in that room as well. She didn't like being in that room. We know I don't think people like to talk about that sort of thing when they visit the museum. So people, only on a couple of occasions, people have said something. Perhaps we'll never really know if our spirits will live beyond our deaths. But with the numerous unexplained encounters of ghostly activity, one has to wonder. So when you are walking alone by yourself at night, don't be so sure that you are alone. 